Welcome back to Hasselvania 3. Uh, don't you mean Castlevania 3? Ah, uh, it's more of a hassle than anything. <laughs> Welcome back to Castlevania 3, ladies and gentlemen. We're still in level 8. Oh, level 8 is the most difficult of the levels. I think somebody took a trip to Wallachia. <laughs> I'd like to go to Wallachia. I always wanted to go to Eastern Europe. I'd much rather go to Transylvania. It's all Romania now, but... Mm -hmm. But fuck Moldavia. <laughs> That's what I say. Moldova sucks. I've never been there, so I couldn't tell you. I know you're quoting the movie Red, but yeah. <laughs> Apologies if you're from Moldavia, folks. Or Moldova. Or Moldova. All right. Don't be mad at me. Be, ma be mad at John Malkovich. <laughs> He's the one who's got me thinking all this Moldova sucks stuff, so. Well, Red was a good movie. Come on, spider. Oh, you oh. fucker. I hate those things. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Or, uh, Duran, I believe their names are called. Which is probably just some goofy fucking name that makes no sense and has no context. Or at least, no English context. Mm. Because for you see, ha 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 ha, this game was programmed by the Japanese and many of the characters have Japanese-influenced names, ha ha ha. Or so I've been told by anime experts. Here we go with the anime again. Ah, uh, what can I say, folks? I'm not a fan of the anime. <laughs> as, you, as you made your point well known. Just lost us every every member of the Castlevania fan base. Like they watch this show? <laughs> it's true, nobody watches this show, so I'm not so worried. Oh, double oh. blob. Double turds. You'll get nothing and like it. <laughs> oh, you gonna hit me with that shit? Yeah, how do you like that? How do you like me now, now that I'm on my way? Yeah. I think I'm crazy standing here today. Living in your radio, how do you like me now? <laughs> Bet you didn't know I was Toby Keith, y'all. That's Yeah, that's the creepy night shift secret identity, Toby Keith. <laughs> he sold millions of records as a country artist. Should have been a cowboy. Should have learned to rope and ride. Yeah, well, you'll you'll put a boot in their ass. It's the <laughs> Where were you when the world stopped turning? <laughs> I know them all, folks. I'm going to waste all my hearts trying to kill this stupid fucking blob. Yep. This motherfucker. There. And then you get stuck with this bastard. And there's one right behind him. Of course. Oh, there's that little mini platform. Oh! All right, well, we suck again, folks. And by we, I mean I. Second verse, same as the first. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, well, at least I got some wall pork to tide me over. Mm, now we need some A1 for flavor. Yeah. God, what were other Toby and Keith hits that I can't remember for some reason? I'm drawing a blank, and I know he had more than a couple. Because the only ones I can think of, Curse, the Red, White, and Blue. Um, how do you like me now? Should have been a cowboy. Yeah. And I know he had more than that. Oh, he had that goofy Welcome to the Future one. No, that was Brad Paisley. That was Brad Paisley? Brad Paisley did Welcome to the Future. Oh, well, no wonder it doesn't really ring a bell when I think of Toby Keith. But the problem is, is a lot of those songs in the early 2000s country, they were quite interchangeable. Yeah. 
And then Big and Rich came out and ruined everything. That's right, I said it. No, I... You are not wrong. As soon as I heard the first uh, inklings of Honky Tonk Badonk and Donk, I knew that it was not going to be a good time. Oh, here we are. I'll say this for level 8. At least it's short. After the uh, marathon that was the other two, that's a blessing. And you know what? If we can make it to death with the holy water and the number two, I think we've got a chance. Don't fuck this up. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right, here come the blocks. Just keep moving. There's the knight. Got to jump over him. Fuck. All right, might have just lost this. It's always that night. It's always... Yeah, I know. It's, I, I jump over them most times with no problem. Hello, Jeff. I'm back. Back for another round. Mm. <sighs> the catch is, is you got to get them right off the bat. Yeah, that's the thing. As soon as those sights start flying. So as many of you may have uh, gotten the impression, I am not a fan of the stadium country. Nor for that m point the infusion of uh, hip-hop into country either. Yeah, the early 2000s was that weird era of, of fusion country. Yeah, I was really not a fan. I blame, uh... And it's not oh, entirely that, that I hate country or I hate hip-hop. I just think the d two don't mix well. Although I'll honestly admit I'd, I'd rather listen to country than hip-hop any day. Ah. <sighs> Come on down, say hello. Damn it. Aha! Got him! Oh, but we're fucked now. Yeah, there's the problem. Ah! Brr! Fuck my, okay. All right. Oh, he's, uh, he's going through this. Yeah, he does this now. He goes to the screen? Watch out, Scythe's coming. Oh! He's down to one. Oh, I got him. Holy fuck. Yes! -hoo. Pulled that one out of my ass, folks. Holy hell. That was a found cause, not a lost one. We beat death. We might see peace in our lifetime. Hooray! But probably not. Oh, there's a level before the final level? Apparently so. Oh, who is the boss of this? Oh, this looks familiar. Watch, it's a shadow match. I'm wondering, all right, we've just fought death. Who the fuck could it be now? Who could it be now? I bet there's some advantage to going up here. <laughs> Bat! Bat! Oh, shit. Okay, I remember who the boss of this level is. And? It's not good. Oh, I see uh, harpies dropping uh, flea men. That's a not a good sign. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Good and fucked now. Proper fucked. Yeah. This was a big mistake. Should have taken Trevor. Yeah, a la carte will need you if we have to uh, traverse chasms, but otherwise... Pretty much. Chasms? Chasms? Chasms, they call them. Just like the shaz hands. Bat! Bat! <laughs> uh, I love that show. <laughs> <laughs> We're referencing what we do in the shadows, folks. Yes. 
If uh, if you ha if you've never caught it, uh, do yourself a favor, catch it. Yes. Watch the movie first, then watch the TV show because yeah. the movie provides a lot of context. It's on Hulu, which uh, I don't know. That's kind of a weird one that not a lot of people have, but. If you got Hulu and you haven't seen what we do in the shadows and you like, oh, spoofy vampire stuff. Yeah, especially if you like mockumentary shows. It's a good one. Yeah. All right. Well, we made it this far. Give me more hearts. All right, up the stairs. Mm. Nothing useful. Just money. Yeah, lots of money. I want money. Lots and lots of money. I want the pie in the sky. Really like those spiky platforms, don't they? Mm-hmm. Oh, this all has a very familiar thing to it. I know we're in trouble soon. I just don't know how or why. All right, now I remember why. <laughs> oh, don't tell me this is another uh, scrolling up level. This is, oh my god, we're fucked. Uh sort of challenging. I, I forgot all about this. Oh, folks. they're on both sides. Yeah, and you're on stairs pretty much the whole time. So you can't change direction. Uh, you can, but mm, sort of, and I do stress sort of. Plus you have those flying fuckers. Mm -hmm. ooh, ooh. Like I said, it's not impossible. God, is it fucking hard. You gotta hang on by your frickin' toenails here. Okay, no time for stopwatch. No time for stopwatch. <laughs> Get it? Ow, oh, fucker! <sighs> yeah. We were near the... Well, it is level nine, folks. It is no longer holding our hands, it is punching us by the balls. But hey, I've done this before. I actually did it recently, so... <clears throat> it's the waterfall. It's always the waterfall. What is it with video games and waterfalls? It couldn't be just, you know, we couldn't just have the double snake statues just spitting fireballs at us. You gotta throw those other dudes at us too. This pretty much does sum up fucking Castlevania 3. Testing your patience, testing your skill, and testing your uh, ability. Yeah. Get down and stay down. Nope, nope. not far enough. That ain't happening. And I don't have enough arts to do that anyway. Fuck! Fuck! Alright, well, we made it up to this point. There's a door, so hey, that's a good sign. Right? <laughs> right? No wall pork. Oh my god, what I a pain in the ass. I see more stairs. Yeah, we're not, we're not done by any means. Although that is the hard, one of the hardest parts of the level. Shit, now I remember the rest of this level. 
It all comes back to It's you. bad. It's bad from here, trust me. It gets, it does get worse. I see a sparking like sparker. But things did get worse. Something is shaking the screen. Yep, that's right. It is, this, this is an auto-scroll uh, area. Oh, great. And it's an erratic auto-scroll, too. Yeah, this is, uh, uh, the kind of fucking auto-scroll part that just makes you hate life. Because because it's intermittent, you can't see what's in, in front of you, so you don't have time to strike. Stuff kind of just spawns without any warning. McSparkers here. Shoot. Yep. Alright, now I'm remembering. Like I said, this is tricky as fuck. Ah, god damn it. Mm. At least it spawned us here. Well, that's the thing. We've got six more shots at this. <laughs> Whiskey Girl. Tom, Toby Keith also did Whiskey Girl. Okay. I don't remember Whiskey Girl. I do. I, I thought it was... Oh, fuck! Yeah, I remember Whiskey Girl now that I'm thinking about it. It's like, she's my little Whiskey Girl. Oh, ragged on the edges, girl. Boy, I like them rough. Yeah. Somebody once said that should have been my theme song, and I'm like, I don't even what? like whiskey. I think it was one of my family members. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't even like whiskey. Especially now that I'm, I'm an adult. Well, like, <sighs> girls who drink whiskey are... I fucked up. Well, uh, get good no bad news. We get to do that one hard part of the level all over again. Oh, yay. Because I doubt we're going to make it to the end of this level on three guys. Oh, well, hope springs eternal. But no, I hate whiskey. Back when I used to sing karaoke, one of my often requested, uh... Songs to sing was I Love This Bar. Oh. And there's actually a very funny story behind this. Because you see, someone is all like, oh man, you should sing I Love This Bar. I forgot who sings that. It was Toby Keith. Oh, okay. So, anyways, I'm all like, eh, not really my song, but okay, I'll give it a shot. And the thing is, is I had not heard it in years, so I didn't remember how it fucking went. Um, so I just kind of went up and I did it, and everyone really liked it. Hmm. And the funny thing is, is like, it kind of became one of my regular, you know, songs that people would request. <sighs> God damn it, why do I keep falling for that? Oh. Oh my. Okay, I remember this. Wall pork. Wall pork. <laughs> I'm not gonna, won't get fooled again. I think, oh, okay, this part is a bastard, but not impossible. Fish dudes, we've got fish dudes. Okay, well, that's one down. Fish dudes and birds. So anyways. Uh, I love this bar. Yeah, so anyways. I, every now and then, like, they'd be like, oh, sing I love this bar, and I'd go and sing I love this bar. And everyone was all happy about it. And then one day, I'm in the supermarket. And uh, you know how, like, when you're in the supermarket, and then they start playing, like, music on the on the PA system, and you're like, oh, yeah, it's it's the top fucking hits or whatever. Oh, Jesus. Yes. All right, we're to, a, we're to a very tough boss. 
All right. So, anyways. It is a shadow match. Oh, oh this is this is a motherfucker of a match too. So this guy is there's a very cheap thing that I'm doing with that shifting. Mm -hmm. It fucks him up because he basically just copies you. Um, and if you do that, it sends him into a fucking cycle where he can't fucking do anything. So he's basically crash me. Uh, yeah, sort of. Ah, damn it. Okay. I thought I'd be able to cheap him with another hit. So anyways, I'm in the supermarket listening to uh, the you know the music on the PA system, you know, just kind of doing my shopping. Mm -hmm. And uh, on comes uh, Toby Keith's "I Love This Bar," and I was like, "Oh yeah, I sing this," you know. And I was listening to it, and I'm like, "Wow, this is nothing like I sing it." So it turns out I'd been singing it wrong for years, but people liked it, <laughs> and they're just good oh, with it. Shit. So. That's the moral of the story, folks. Uh, if you're uh, singing karaoke, you don't always have to. You don't always have to do it exactly the way the artist does it. Yeah, you can do it in uh, your own style. Yeah. In fact, uh, the guy who uh, the guy who taught me how to sing actually he kind of encouraged that. He's like. Don't just don't just do it like um, like the original artist does. Kind of throw your own spin on it. People like that. Although then again, people also don't like that. So it's very contextual based. I was say read the room. Yeah, and that that that's kind of the that's kind of the thing too. If uh, if people want to hear Freebird, well, they probably just want to hear Freebird. They want to have nine minutes of smoking joints is what they want. Yeah, pretty much. They don't want to hear, like, your avant-garde interp- Oh, wow, we beat him. Oh. First try. Fucking A should have been a cowboy. <laughs> ah, but now we are on the most fearsome of all levels. The level of Christmas future. <laughs> oh, wait, no, it's a clock tower. That's right. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. Another freaking clock tower. This, uh, this level is, uh, nigh impossible, folks. Not impossible impossible. It can be done. But, um... Oh, it's a rat bastard, that's for certain. This whole game is a rat bastard. Oh, it's an auto-scroll. It's an auto-scroll. Yes, if you are too high up on the screen, you will automatically die. Oh, yeah. I know how these things work. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a bastard. Even though it makes no sense. Uh, at least they could have had, like, spikes coming down from the ceiling or something, but... Oh, no, in Konami, they probably would. They like to reuse their spikes, as we've learned. But, uh... Oh. I do have my own, uh, I love this bar, uh, story. I heard a parody of that song called I Love NASCAR. Uh-huh. And, uh, for years I thought oh, that was fuck. the original... I thought, uh... That was the original, and I Love This Bar was the parody. I don't remember much of I Love This Bar, but I know one of the lyrics is, A man that Tony Stewart's a whiner. Oh, the I Love NASCAR? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not very familiar. I, I'm, I wasn't even very familiar with the... Um... Oh, damn it. I wasn't even super familiar with the... Uh... The original? the original Toby Keith one. I mean, I know the lyrics, but... I, I probably couldn't tell you what the lyrics are nowadays. Because I know one of the stanzas is... Uh, see, be, see, see Biggie again in the track. We'll put a smile on everyone's face. No one drove a car quite like Earnhardt. Vroom vroom, I love NASCAR. Now, was this Cletus T. Judd? I... It could be. I don't know. I don't know who the artist was. If y'all don't know, Cletus T. Judd is the Weird Al Yankovic of country music. Uh, yeah, he did Goodbye Squirrel. Yes, and he did. Uh, Which is my favorite because I hate the original song. 
Cletus went down to Florida. Yeah, let's double him down to Georgia. He also had another one. Uh, he did a lot of them. I was surprised how many uh, songs that he did. And so many that were actually, like, really, really good. Like, surprisingly good. Mm -hmm. Like... Oh, Ooh, no! Come it. on! <sighs> that was a damn it, not a god damn it. You know what? Honestly, it's probably for the best that we don't make it towards the end of the level. Because we've only got, like, one or two lives left. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those levels that are completely unforgiving. As we've noticed. And if we lose all our lives, <laughs> we gotta start back to the beginning. Back to the top of level nine. This ain't Castlevania one where they stop you right at Dracula and you can continue as many times as possible. This ain't no disco. This ain't no country club either. This is Castlevania three. Uh. But yeah. Back to my earlier tangent. It's just the early 2000s, those, the male singers in particular, I always get them confused. I wasn't, um... I weirdly have, like, this strange love-hate relationship with, uh, country music. Especially in the 90s. Because I know you've talked about Garth Brooks before on this channel. Yeah, I like Garth Brooks. At the time, I hated Garth Brooks. Uh, weirdly enough, I really liked Chris Gaines, which was Garth Brooks' pseudonym that he was singing under for a while because he wanted to do something. Yeah, you see? You jump too high and you're dead. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, fucking birds. There we go. Prehistoric birds. Prehistoric birds. Ah, oh, you fucking skeleton. Because <sighs> I remember in the early 2000s, my brothers were, like, obsessed with country music. Everyone was in the early 2000s. I mean, it was... I mean... <laughs> we grew up in parts of the country where, like, you couldn't spit without hitting country music. Yeah, we grew up in Hicksville. But, uh... Because it's like, I hear a song and it's like, is this Toby Keith? Is this Trace Atkins? Is this Brad Paisley? There was, an, there was another guy too, and I don't remember his name. We might be able to do this if I don't fuck it up. There was another guy who... Bah! There's another guy I like to call the Rob Zombie of uh, country music because his wife was in all the music videos. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about, but I don't recall. His he, his music is that uninspiring. All right, so this is the real ball buster of this level. Where to a we're to A-2. Mm -hmm. This is the farthest point into the game that it will spawn us. Ooh. So, so as you can tell, we are not to Dracula yet. Not even close. Um. Holy water. Wall pork. Oh, no. Come on, don't fuck me. All right. I shouldn't have gotten that wall pork. It'll be fine. So, yeah. This is... This is as far as you can get in Castlevania. Yeah. Oh. I fucked that up. Were you supposed to get the axe? Yep. Oh. Alright, so the nice thing is, is this. With Alucard... Bat! Now, one would assume that this would be the place where they'd spawn you when you die. I mean, after all, we just walked through a door. But this is Castlevania. Do you think they'd be that forgiving Damn to Damn straight. Us? This is Castlevania 3, the game that hates you for playing it. I think this whole game is one giant patience test. Nah, I'd rather have holy water. Alright, so... Hi there! Welcome to my castle. Fuck my life. God damn it. Oh, yeah. 
He's a cheating fuck. Oh, he is a cheating fuck too. Oh, flicker warning there, folks. Fuck. Oh. Okay. We got close though. That's gonna bug me now. What? I can see the guy's face, but I don't know his name. Who? The country singer, I can't remember his name. He had his wife in all his videos. Ah, I don't know. There was a bunch of weird fucking power couples in the fucking, um... Oh, in the 90s when it came to country music. And uh, just about all of them were insufferable. Alright, we're on to a good... We're on to a good one right now. Don't jinx it. Bat! Bat! Ah! Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Tried to pull a fast one on me! Alright. Now there are some candles. Now one... Uh, oh, 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 oh. You almost got me, Drac! Gotta be quicker than that. Alright, so here's the catch. We don't have nearly enough hearts to go into this final battle with. Luckily, we have respawning candles. Yep. Now, how many... Now, how many axes are we going to need for this fight? I honestly don't know. Um, but I'd hate to not have enough. Remember, don't hit that last one. It has a knife. Getting deja vu here. Yep, I certainly that, am. That one has the knife. All right, let's try it with 50. Hello there, welcome to my lair. All right, so the catch with Dracula is the farther you are ah. away, the more of a spread he'll have on those fucking... Yeah, the fire pillars. Flame pillar. Oh, God. We... There is no hope now. Oh, damn it. God damn it. All right. We'll just have to pick this up in the next episode, folks. And honestly, it could take us an episode to beat Dracula. Or maybe we'll just beat him in ten minutes. And in that case, we'll probably just tack that onto this episode. But until then, folks, uh, end of the episode. End of the episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And have a good day, everyone. Oh, my.